Oh, hey, players. Listen, I don't have a lot of time, so I gotta make this quick. Now that I've instilled this time constraint, you feel like the time that we have together is so much more valuable. As humans, we're prone to this idea. We always want what we can't have. That's why I want to talk to you guys about how to play hard to get and why it's so gosh damn effective! The whole point of playing hard to get is to send slight signals to the other person to show them that they have to up their game if they want to pique your interest. People of all ages do this. For example, check out this comment from a user here. There's this guy in my senior division class who disliked me last year because I annoyed him one day with my horrible violin playing. He tries to get closer to me, but not too obviously. Do you think he likes me now, or is it all in my head? Hmm. That reminds me of the cat string theory, which says that when a cat is playing with a ball of yarn and tossing it all around, he's nothing but crazy over it. However, if you put the ball of yarn down on the ground without the cat touching it, he doesn't care. People are pretty much the same way. When they encounter others that are active and engaging, they also too become active and engaging. But when they encounter someone with a very mopey and dry personality, that doesn't really enhance their mood, does it? So my advice is to be more hands-on. Be active, engaging, flirtatious, but never give too much. You never want to make yourself too available because that comes off as being very, very needy, which is never attractive. If you always pick up the phone and make time to talk to them when they want you to, or always show up at places that they want you to, you're not really balancing it out well. In fact, it's too much in their favor. It's okay for you to chase them, but make sure they chase you sometimes. It's that back and forth power play that makes it exciting. We give one another loops to jump through in order to help them win our approval, and it can be something as so simple as, hey, hold this for me? And it's when you jump through one too many hoops that you show the other person you're being completely submissive and not standing on your own two feet. They want you to set boundaries so that you can both know where you stand. Playing hard to get is all about the pace of the chase. It's about you establishing what you're willing to do and not to do to get this other person. To some degree, everyone wants to be led. So by you taking charge and saying no sometimes, that's actually a good thing. So here's a real life example of a study done in the 1970s to show guys' reactions to girls' selectivity. A computer generated these results to show females' opinions of different guys and how they rated them. Once the guys received these results, they were asked to pick a girl based on the answers to determine which one they would want to date. And a clear-cut winner amongst guys seemed to be the girl that gave them specifically high ratings and everyone else lower ratings. And I think what this shows is that men would prefer to have a girl that's easy to get without all the drawbacks of a hard-to-get woman. Plus, easy things become that much more tempting when we know they're forbidden to others. Everyone wants to be chased and feel special. But what I think this comes down to is that, instead of playing hard to get, you should be somewhat hard to get. Set standards for yourself. Make sure that the person that you like does everything they can to show that they deserve you. Like this video if you get that thrills and chills feeling every time you find out that someone's chasing you because they like you. Leave a comment letting me know. When you like someone, are you straightforward with them or do you play hard to get? And subscribe to the channel to see more videos on dating, pickup, and romance psychology. As always guys, love and peace. <sighs> People don't know what they have until it's gone. Sometimes, casting someone as a bitter enemy can make them the hottest person in the world. What is up with that? Teasing a person being playful will always surpass being submissive and quiet. And to answer the Mexgirl girl 18s question as to whether or not the guy likes you, there's only one way to find out.